for the next 25 years, we may have as many as 300,000 jobs available and maybe 15,000 people to fill them. Workers no longer necessarily chase companies. Companies chase workers. Talent is the new global currency. We're honored to represent the 80 million other millennials <laughs> that exist. You don't need to have a ping pong table in your headquarters in order to attract young professionals. People don't want to move. How are you going to entice them? It has to be more than a paycheck. Folks move to New York and to Minneapolis, even though it snows there too. When you ask anybody why they live in a city, they generally don't say their home or their workplace. They say, you have to go check out this great restaurant. We have this great trail, this great park. Milwaukee has really established a great precedent in how they can help to grow, attract, nurture the young professional or millennial culture. We reached out to them and asked them to help us deploy a similar strategy statewide. And this is actually called Young Professional Week, and it's a, a platform for all of us to showcase our cities. Three million jobs a year are created from brand new companies. We were 50th in the number of startups last year. All right, that's an area that we can spend some time on. But on the flip side, you'll see that we're pretty high on academic, industrial, research and development. Having University of Wisconsin right next door is critical. But not only that, you have a workforce that's willing to work really hard. You know, there are a lot of the scientists who go from a farm in northern Wisconsin to University of Wisconsin to exact sciences. And you try to beat them into the office. It's not easy. Okay, so when you hear the word Wisconsin, what are the first three words that come to your mind? Badgers, cheese, good education. Cheese, beer, winter. <laughs> Definitely snow, beer. Snow, cold, and cheese. Cheese. We got some really nice blue cheese right now. Cheese. I shouldn't say this, white people, farms. We often like to say is that the reality is better than the perception. Polka King of the Midwest. Yeah, we sold about 623 copies of that. In Chicago? No, Sheboygan. Very big in Sheboygan. They loved it. You know? What do we need to do to change perceptions so that people feel comfortable moving to Wisconsin so they recognize what we have to offer and the opportunities we have? We've got a very well-kept secret. We have jobs. And I don't know if the message is just that simple. Our input has provided a recommendation that we, as Wisconsin's, launch a single, all-encompassing brand. If Wisconsin were a person, how would you describe it? Original, passionate, innovative, hardworking, and independent. It's going to be a requirement in 2017-18 school year. Every kid, sixth grade on up, has an academic and career plan. To get our students to start thinking early on in middle school about what am I good at, what am I interested in, what kind of courses can I take not just in high school but junior high to prepare me for that career path. We would like every student to have a Wisconsin business experience. What we know is if they take an internship with Wisconsin business, about 62% of them stay. It is now time to get concrete, possibly a tax credit for employers who invest in their future workers. 60-65% of school districts in Wisconsin in any one year are losing kids. At what point do you simply lack the critical mass of students to run a school district? We need to really maximize uh, the talent and the contributions of our existing adult labor force. We're breaking up our credentials into smaller, more digestible chunks. We received a grant from the federal government of $4 million to create 1,000 new apprentices over the next few years. The key is that we all start working together on it to make sure that we're growing the region and not just any one segment of the state of Wisconsin. We're seeing some of these issues already affect our business. Uh, we just launched our Fond du Lac Works website where we bring all of the vacancies in our community to one place. We just uh, opened up a fab foundation, uh, fab lab. It helps to assure that the skills being taught in classes like math and science and social studies are connected to applications in manufacturing or technology. We simply need to get better at telling the story we all know to be true. If you don't have access to a well-trained, well-prepared, 
hardworking workforce. Those are fundamentals that have to be a part of who we are and where we are going forward.